like you. I've juggled a full-time job while trying to whip up delicious meals in the rush of a hectic schedule. But you don't need a chef hat to create culinary magic. In fact, you've got all the tools you need right in your home kitchen. Today, I'm excited to share 27 kitchen hacks that leveled up my cooking game. These are designed to streamline your kitchen, enhance your cooking, and maybe even impress a guest or two with your savvy skills. Grazie mille. Grazie mille. So, let's begin with the easier, yet one of the best time-saving hacks. How to make perfect homemade stock cubes. It's the end of the week and you have loads of veg scraps, including peels, stems, or sad-looking veg that you forgot at the back of your fridge. Roughly chop them down, add them to a pan with any herbs, salt and spices. Use even the leaves as they're full of flavour. Leave it to sweat out the water and add to a blender and blend until you have a fine paste. Lay on a tray, freeze and cut into squares once ready. You can wrap each square in parchment paper and store in the freezer. This will add an explosion of flavor to every single meal. Save all jars to store food. We made this pantry with loads of recycled jars. And look how cool it looks. But you might be asking, why do I need to start a pantry? Well, for three main reasons. Everything is visible, so you don't forget to restock something. Less single-use packaging. And cost saving, as you don't end up overbuying food. Silicon mats instead of parchment paper. This thing is completely non-stick, they are reusable for many times, extremely easy to clean and you can even use them to roll out dough. And I'm not even sponsored. Please sponsor me. Herb bombs. You can pick a mix of different herbs from the garden, chop them down finely with this cool transition or simply using a knife like I did off camera. You can even add other ingredients like garlic or nasturtium flowers for a punchy peppery flavor. Add one teaspoon to each hole of an ice cube tray and cover with olive oil. But leave a tiny bit of gap from the rim so they don't overflow when it's frozen. Now freeze and use any time you start to cook something to literally add an explosion of flavor. Use potato water for the best soup. Once you finish boiling your potatoes, don't toss the water down the drain. Simply save it in a container and let it cool. When you're making soup, replace some of the regular water or broth with this potato water. It's packed with starch and flavor. It adds a creamy texture and a subtle earthy taste that takes your soup to the next level. Plus, it's a great way to reduce waste in your kitchen. How to properly store tomatoes. Tomatoes have a small scar-like area called calyx. If you leave the stem part facing up, moisture can escape from the calyx. Place them upside down so the moisture is trapped and it extends the shelf life of your tomatoes. Make your own natural oven cleaner. I used to buy products like this one to clean my oven. This is bad. Instead, make your own. Add half a cup of baking soda with enough water to make a thick paste. Spread it evenly inside your oven and let it sit for a few minutes. Now add some vinegar to a spray bottle and spray it over the oven to clean up the paste. And voila, shiny spotless oven. The proper way to peel garlic. We have all seen this method of adding garlic to a bowl, put an equal sized bowl on top and shake aggressively and they should all be peeled except you will still have some unpeeled. So what do you do? You pour a bit of warm water and let them soak for around three minutes and they should all peel easily. Add flavor with lemon zest. The zest of your lemon is pure gold. Just a little bit of lemon zest will go a long way when cooking something. It increases flavor without adding acidity, it boosts the nutritional value of any meal and adds freshness. You can even dehydrate it to make your own tea blend. <sighs> Talking about lemons, get more juice out of your lemons. When you buy your lemons, add them to a container, cover with fresh water, close it and store it in the fridge. They will stay fresh for several weeks with less chances of mold. This will go in the compost. But how do you get more juice? Always roll them before squeezing. This helps distribute the juice, make it softer and you will get more juice out of it. 
Don't throw your squeezed lemons. Instead, use them to make candied lemons. Oh my god. Slice your squeezed lemons and scrape the pulp. That could be frozen in an ice cube tray to use for anything you like. Now cut the peels into thin strips, add them to a pan with water and boil to remove the bitter taste. Discard the water and add enough fresh water to cover them. Add equal weight of sugar and cover to simmer on low for an hour. Strain the peels, let cool for 15 minutes, roll in sugar and enjoy a delicious snack. As a bonus, you also get a fragrant lemon syrup that you can use for cocktails or cakes. Make your own surface cleaner. There are better ways than just compost this. All you need to make it is vinegar and some leftover citrus peel. Cut the peels in small bits, place the peels in a jar and cover with vinegar. Shake vigorously and let sit in the dark for two to four weeks. Strain the liquid and use as is or dilute one one with water. It's great to remove grease or clean any surface. Eco and pet friendly. Roast your peppers on the stove. You can get green, yellow, red, orange and many more colors of bell peppers. However, the green ones are bitter compared to the rest as they are picked under ripe from the plant. Yellow, red and most other colors are fully ripe and sweeter. The quickest and easiest way to cook them is to char them directly on the flame and turn them around using a pair of tongs until fully charred. Now the peel comes off super easy and you can slice and serve your peppers. Using old bread to make croutons. If your bread turns rock solid, you can either grate it and store the breadcrumbs in a jar for later use, or you could dice it and add to an oven tray, light drizzle with oil and spices. Bake in the oven and you got the perfect croutons. Measure the right amount of pasta without tools. Mamma mia! I can say that I'm Italian. Use your index finger and thumb to measure a single serving of spaghetti. By the way, never break the pasta or I will hunt your dream. <laughs> also, to avoid the spaghetti sticking, add a splash of olive oil to the boiling water. Coming up next, Who's there? I just received something pretty exciting. Fulmer Apiari sent me a range of different products, including limited edition flavors that will never be available again, and this mystery box that I will open up soon. This is the most natural honey you will ever get, including the way it is gathered and produced. To source the content of this box, they sent an expedition to Asia and literally explored every inch from mountains to hills and fields to finally find the most uncontaminated spot, set up hives using only local materials and they spent two and a half months to finally collect pure gold. This really shows that the less we interfere with nature, the more we are able to enjoy miracles. Today I will elevate the flavor of this incredible honey by mixing ruby gem lettuce, the last few apples picked straight from my garden, vegan feta cheese, mixed nuts, salad crust microgreens, with a light drizzle of olive oil and balsamic vinegar, and topped with this absolutely delicious honey. Oh my god! Now back to the tips. Use residual heat to save energy. When you're cooking something, you can switch off the stove halfway through cooking time and cover with a lid. Let it sit for the rest of the cooking time and the residual heat will do the job. You can do the same with the oven and that helps to save energy. Make sure to be familiar with the cooking time. The right way to peel tomatoes. We've all been there. How many times did you find yourself peeling tomatoes and it's just so hard as the peel is not coming off? Well, let me give you a quick tip. Score your tomatoes with a knife, making an X. Place the tomatoes you would like to peel into a bowl, cover with hot water and let it sit for about one or two minutes. Shocking cold water and the peel should come off super easy. 
You could also save the peels and dehydrate it to make powder that you can use to add that extra flavor to any meal. Make homemade chips from vegetable peels. When you buy organic carrots and potatoes, you can peel them, mix them up with spices like salt, pepper, paprika and olive oil, lay them on a tray and roast in the oven until crispy at the touch. This will be your new favorite afternoon snack. Make your own laundry detergent. It's the perfect time to collect conkers. Simply cut them down, add to a blender until you have a paste, lay it on a tray and dry in the oven. Before using them, you can mix it with hot water, strain and use for your laundry. You can make enough to last for months and save you a trip to the store. The right way to peel ginger. All you need is a spoon and slowly scrape off the peel of your ginger root around the eyes which are the parts used by your ginger root to sprout new roots and stems. How to extend the shelf life of leafy greens. Don't let your greens go mushy. If you want lettuce that is always crispy, green and fresh, wash it and pat it dry. Add a towel to a container and add your leafy greens. The towel will absorb the extra humidity, keeping your lettuce always crunchy and fresh. For long stem leafy greens, fill up a jar with water and submerge the stems to keep it fresh. The quickest way to make couscous. First, prep your stock by adding one cup of hot water and half a stock cube. Mix it until completely dissolved. You need a ratio of 1-1 couscous and stock. Now add one cup of couscous, mix and cover for 10 minutes. Tip in your couscous, mix well and enjoy a super quick and delicious meal. Carrot top pesto. When you buy carrots with green tops, that's an extra bonus for free. Cut the tops and add them to a blender with two cloves of garlic, salt, pepper, pine nuts or pecans works just great. Pine nuts are too expensive, I know. Grate some vegan parmesan or any parmesan and add a generous amount of olive oil. Blend until you reach the right consistency and use it for pasta or as a delicious dip. Oh my god. DIY nut milk and energy bites. Buying oat milk or any plant-based milk is definitely expensive. You can make your own by using oats or any nuts you like using the same exact method. Add one cup of oats to a blender with three cups of water and one date for some extra sweetness. Blend for 20-30 seconds and strain in a cheesecloth without pressing too much or it will get slimy. Store in the fridge for four to five days. Don't throw away the pulp, but melt some dark chocolate and mix in flax seeds, seed butter, date paste and a touch of lemon zest. Roll into bowls and add any flavoring you like for the quickest and most delicious dessert. Unbelievable. Authentic bruschetta. You got a friend coming over last minute and you don't have anything ready to eat. Time to take out the Italian weapons. Slice some bread and quickly toast it in the oven. Grab a clove of garlic and grate it on top of your bread. Quickly chop some tomatoes and mix in olive oil, salt, pepper and herbs for a quick and amazing snack. Wow. Oh sh I forgot my friend. The best eggplant prep. A quick tip to remove moisture and reduce bitterness is to cut them down in slices or cubes, lay them in a pasta strainer and sprinkle salt for every layer. Add a plate or some kind of weight on top and wait for about one hour. They will release some of the moisture and bitterness so you can wash them down with cold water and pat dry before cooking. The proper way to store berries. When you buy berries, they tend to spoil pretty quickly. So what do you do? Add them to a bowl with water and a splash of vinegar. Dry them with a towel. Don't press too much or you're gonna make them and add them to a jar to store in the fridge. They will last for more than two weeks. But if you really want to know all the secrets and become a preservation pro, you must check this video where I share all you need to know.